the honorable judges in this competition, all the participants who are feeling amazing today, to respect the audience and also everyone who are here today. My name is Fania Chantika, I'm from University of Duta Bangsa, Surakarta. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I would like to thank to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his blessing so that I can attend in this contest. Secondly, salawat and salam always delivered to our Prophet Muhammad SAW who had brought us from the darkness to the brightness. Ladies and gentlemen, here I would like to deliver the speech titled The Yeast in His Embrace of Patient Privacy on Telehealth. Before telling more about the topic, I would like to ask one question. Do you think it is an interesting topic? Yes, it is, because consulting a doctor is expensive, isn't it? We spend much money to see doctor, but sometimes it does not work. Everything now must have been different because of technology. Technology brings yeastiness to our life. And yes, telemedicine is one of the technological products that brings solution for our health. Ladies and gentlemen, because of the reason above, in this moment, I'm going to deliver three points. Why do we need telemedicine? 1. The industrial era 4.0 effect on health. 2. Telemedicine and its aspect. And 3. The advantage and disadvantage of telemedicine. Ladies and gentlemen, have you understood before about telemedicine? About the industrial revolution 4.0 effect on health? I think yes, all of you have understood because it is not new topic. First, in this moment, I'm go I want to tell you the industrial 4.0 effect on health. According to Merkel, the world now is currently in industrial revolution 4.0, where information exchange and storage are its main characteristic. Era 4.0 received title Big Data. Because information available is trivial, which has volume, velocity, and variety. Everything now must be online and use technology, and one of them is telemedicine. Before telling it further, let me ask you, have you heard before about telemedicine? Yes, I think. It is a new thing, isn't it? Okay, now let me first tell you about telemedicine. Ladies and gentlemen, the second point in this speech is telemedicine and its aspect. According to WHO, telemedicine provides for doctor and patient to interact remotely using technology information and communication. Meanwhile, doctor-patient telemedicine is growing together with the internet, yet must consider the limitation of patient professional physician belief on patient clinical condition, doctor, and patient expectation from telemedicine, and also aspect of information privacy. For example, a four-year telehealth, Medicare, and Medicaid fund will examine and research use to outcomes for elderly diabetic in underserved areas in New York State. National healthcare system beyond the United States and Europe are using telemedicine to provide healthcare system service in remote regions. A program of home telehealth and support by a patient education enable to transmission of valid and reliable data to healthcare providers and eliminate the need of frequent and costly preventive community nurse visit. Comparing the cost-benefit of ratio of 
traditional management healthcare in clinic to setting a home telehealth management healthcare is vital to shifting up the telemedicine from an underutilized healthcare model to a pragmatic operational method of providing healthcare service. Ladies and gentlemen, the third point in this speech is the advantage of telemedicine. Manual, according to Cooler, telemedicine transport data rather than people. One, telemedicine is globally expanding technology. Second, particularly points particularly from elderly with chronic complex comorbidities. Three, elderly are usually needs require a high levels of monitoring rather than younger people are more likely than younger people need ambulation berries in ambulation for geographic distance and five transportation to their healthcare providers telemedicine is achieving integration with home-based primary care using patient-centered approach. Innovative strategy for patient education to focus on long-term patient complaints and specific disease education. For example, BPGS cooperate with Halodoc Healthcare Health application to develop digital based health service and one of them is insurance national health insurance mobile or we call it GKN, which is digital page of transmission of membership administration in that carry out at the brain at the branch office by combining Halodoc application and application technology I hope it will complete the user experience of health facility more inclusive efficient and effective on September 2019 the number of chicken case had reached 221 million people are 83 percent of total population in Indonesia ladies and gentlemen in this point we must also concern about the disadvantage of telemedicine according imagine Imagine if your data can be opened by hacker or anyone. It will be bad, isn't it? According from data in the United States, there is recorded 20 million patients due to illegal access and 133 million patients due to hacking 5 million patients lost data and 700,000 patients 
lost incorrect data. There are four ways to create a main security system that can be used to reduce the number of leaks in patient personal data when they use BPGS cooperating with Halodoc application and or other talent design programs. And here are the ways. One, the telework allowingly only for patient pre-registered phone number to access to connect the system. Second, first protecting software that running on all the system. Three, user authentication where patient must log on to their home units with a unique password. Four, lastly, machine authentication that requires a unique password to log on from patient for patient terminal before service access is granted. Okay, now ladies and gentlemen, I would like to conclude about telemedicine system. Telemedicine can protect Indonesian health with strategy between Halodoc and BPGS with one consideration we must concern to protect personal privacy data of all the patients Finally, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for my speech today. I hope we'll have some information from my speech today. Thank you for li uh, thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.